let's have a look at question 10 in this video so suppose our utility is u equals to square root of m where m is our wealth now if we have an initial wealth of 16 are we gonna gamble or not and this is the gamble the gamble that we had in question 9 so we have a 1 over 4 probability of winning 20 1 over 4 probability of winning 9 1 over 4 probability of losing 7 and 1 over 4 probability of losing 16 now when we want to decide between a gamble and a certainty so basically we have two options either not take the gamble so in that case our expected utility would be the square root of our $16 because we would not win and not lose anything we would have for sure a utility of four units but if we take the gamble if we take the gamble so expected utility from taking the gamble well we have to take into account all these probabilities so for instance we would have a 1 over 4 probability of having a utility of square root of 16 plus the 20 that we'd win so our utility would go up by this amount plus we would have a 1 over 4 probability to have a utility of 16 plus 9 so plus 9 plus we would have a probability of 1 over 4 times an expected utility of 16 minus 7 because we would lose 7 and also a probability of 1 over 4 times an expected utility of um, 16 minus 16 16 minus 16 let me zoom out to get some more space and let's do the math over here and we're gonna compare the expected utilities so the expected utility of the gamble let me go below a bit the expected utility of this gamble would be 1 over 4 times square root of 16 plus 20 that's 36 plus 1 over 2 times square root of 16 plus 9 that's 25 plus 1 over 4 times square root of 16 minus 7 that's just 9 plus 1 over 4 times square root of 16 minus 16 is 0 let's solve this so the expected utility of this gamble would be equal to 1 over 4 times square root of 36 that's just 6 plus 1 over 4 times square root of 25 it's just 5 plus 1 over 4 times square root of 9 is just 3 plus 1 over 4 times square root of 0 is 1 over 4 times 0 so that would be just 0 and that's equal to 6 over 4 plus 5 over 4 plus 3 over 4 so that's 6 plus 5 plus 3 that's 14 divided by 4 which is 7 divided by 2 and that's equal to 3.5 now we have to compare 3.5 with the expected utility from not taking the gamble so 3.5 and the expected utility from not taking the gamble is 4 so what this means is that the expected utility from not taking the gamble is higher so we would be happier by not doing it so we will not take the gamble not gamble and that's it we are done